Hello, I'm Kevin Herkamp, the Salmon Trout Enhancement Program Coordinator with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. In this video, we'll be describing the standard aquarium setup we use in our Fish Eggs to Fry program. The basic set consists of an aquarium, usually made of glass or acrylic, and typically in a 10 or a 20 gallon size. You'll also need a waterfall style filter. This will help clean and aerate the water and includes a cartridge that needs to be rinsed out under the tap um, as it gets dirty. In addition, you'll need a thermometer. The type with the suction cup work the best as it can be stuck to the inside of the glass to give you an accurate water temperature. It's also a really good idea to have a turkey baster and an aquarium net so that you can remove the dead eggs and fry. An optional feature is gravel. Uh, you can get gravel in either natural or artificial colors. The natural colors will provide a more realistic environment, but may camouflage the eggs in the fry. The artificial colors will reduce the realism, but allow you to see the eggs and fry much better. For many years, ice bottles have been used to keep the aquariums cool. They're a labor-intensive process as you have to frequently change out the ice bottles in order to maintain a consistent water temperature. Experimentation is also needed to determine what size water bottles work best and how frequently they need to be changed out. And this is all dependent upon the air temperature, the size of the aquarium, and how much insulation you have around the tank. Insulation is highly recommended as it will minimize the amount of time you have to spend changing water bottles. Ice bottles are also a great way to keep the class engaged in the development of the eggs. And is in fact one of the best ways to get started out in this program. More aquariums are being equipped with chillers. These chillers are easy to use and install, and they provide a hands-free, reliable way um, for teachers to maintain their aquariums, especially on nights and weekends. While they are reliable, they do take uh, monitoring and observation to make sure they're working appropriately and the temperature is being maintained. It's not as easy as set it and forget it. Chillers can even be added to an aquarium where ice bottles are being used as a backup. To install the chiller, you will need a submersible aquarium pump, the chiller, tubing, hose clamps, a diffuser, and a nylon stocking. The tubing will need to be cut to the correct length and then attached between the pump and inlet on the chiller and from the chiller outlet to the diffuser. The diffuser will help aerate the water and spread out the force of the return water. In some cases, components will have different hose diameters and may require a fitting to join the different hoses. These are available at most hardware stores. Hose clamps will ensure a watertight seal. You want to place a nylon over the pump to prevent it from sucking up fry and place the components where you like them. On some models of pump, there is also a valve to control the rate of flow. Once everything is in place, fill the tank with water, then plug in and prime the cascade style water filter. Priming is accomplished by pouring water into the top until flow begins. If you have a chiller, turn on the pump, check the operation of the components, and look for leaks. Adjust the valve on the pump to the desired rate and move the diffuser to a position that minimizes splashing but adds air to the water. Now turn on the chiller and set the temperature. It's important not to run the chiller without water flowing through it. To adjust the temperature, simply hold the center button until it flashes. Then use the arrows to set the desired temperature, usually between 49 and 54 degrees. Then press the center button again. Make sure to verify this temperature reading with the thermometer in the tank once the water is chilled and adjust according to the reading on the thermometer. Let the setup run for a couple of days prior to receiving the eggs. This will allow the chlorine and other chemicals to evaporate and allow the water to cool to the appropriate temperature. 